Hi everyone, Nir Zouk, founder and CTO of Palo Alto Networks. Let's talk about Zero Trust Network Access, ZTNA. It all started with VPNs. Remember, a long time ago, for network access, we used VPN. The challenge with VPNs was that they're very coarse. There was not a lot of granularity in how we can control which users can access which applications and what they can do with the applications. And then ZTNA 1.0 was born. Proxy and the cloud vendors decided that the best way to do zero trust network access is going through a broker, meaning you would authenticate to a broker and then the broker would say, this connection is okay. The connection connects directly to its target and that's where it stops. There's no inspection there. Why? Because the way they architected their products, the inspection happens in the broker. This time the traffic doesn't go through the broker. They cannot inspect that. What it means is that once you're connected, the adversaries have a free ride. If they're already on the endpoint, we won't discover them through posture assessment. If data is leaking out, we won't discover that through DLP. If there is some exploit attempt, we won't see that and so on. Of course, it doesn't make any sense. And we need to take both worlds, the, the, the old world of network access with VPNs and the ZTNA advantages and merge them together. That's ZTNA 2.0. ZTNA 2.0 overcomes the shortcomings of ZTNA 1.0, meaning we still have very granular inspection, who the user is, what they're trying to go, what they're trying to do, and so on, but also continuous inspection of the traffic. So for example, the user has authenticated, they managed to connect to the application, and all of a sudden an adversary takes over their endpoint, or maybe the adversary was there all the time and waited for that authentication to happen, we're going to see that. We're going to inspect the connection for exploits of vulnerabilities. We're going to inspect the connection for misbehaviors. We're going to check the connection for malware and so on. Also, if as part of that connection, there is data loss. For some reason, there is malware running on the other side, on the application side, and data starts flowing backwards in a way that it shouldn't. Because we keep inspecting the tunnel all the time, unlike ZTNA 1.0 where there was a complete handoff and no inspection anymore. We can now see that and stop the data leakage with our different DLP tools. And of course, there are many other examples of how inspecting the tunnel can overcome many old and, and modern attacks that just handing off a connection after it's been approved can't do. To summarize, ZTNA 1.0 was a good start. You know, controlling the user, the application they access, what they can do with the application, but of course, with all the shortcomings, we need ZTNA 2.0, which really brings us to where we need to be in terms of controlling the user and inspecting the traffic.